Um, we have parents and guardians who have come to witness the admission of uh, their children and their benefactors. Now, our newest advocate in town. Good, good morning. Is it still morning? You all look great. I premises. It is always a joy for us as judiciary to host. Welcome to the legal very indeed just wish you a great time as you start this journey let me join all those who have spoken before me in congratulating you for this very well deserved admission today I'm sure each and every one of you knows one or two people that started this journey with you they are not yet they're not here this morning with you they are maybe not even almost coming here so it's a great privilege to have made the finish line. And I'll just ask that we give ourselves a round of applause. Um, well done. Let me take this early opportunity to appreciate all my colleagues who work in the advocate section, led by Honorable Moses Wanjala. Uh, thank you very much for the work that you do together with our team. Uh, the judiciary recently introduced um, a, a digital system uh, to process your admissions. Did we all use it? Was it difficult to use? Anybody had challenges using it? Great. So we, at the judiciary, we keep trying. And um, we are happy that all of you, that we could process 822 uh, people in one sweep, it would have been a bit challenging if we were still uh, on our um, manual system. Uh, we had a little bit of disorganization this morning. Uh, I don't know what happened. That is not how we are usually. And I know that next time, Honorable Chief Justice, it's going to be better. We've listened to all the previous speakers. They've told us what is expected of us as advocates. And as I keep telling all our um, new advocates that we've admitted here before, that these principles apply across the board. Whether you decide to be in private practice, whether you join the private sector, whether you want to be in the corporate world, in civil society, wherever the principles will apply the same. And if you go by what we've been advised this morning, it shall be well with you. I want to also just say this, and it's something I keep telling all groups like this. The judiciary is an excellent place to work. We are very competitive. Uh, we are the best in public service. And we always have opportunities for young people. Uh, whether as legal researchers, as magistrates, as um, we now have a new um, cadre for registrars so that the entry point is deputy assistant registrar if you do not want to be on the judicial side. We also have opportunities in our mediation program. We have opportunities in our pro bono uh, popa brief um, framework. And uh, I know we've been having challenges with our pro bono program. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the president of the Law Society of Kenya because um, you have given us a team to work with us to streamline our POPA brief system so that uh, we can continue to participate as we should. Um, I have been asked by the Honorable the Chief Justice to look for Kiprop. Kiprop, where are you? The young man from Baringo. The Chief Justice has ordered me to look for you for a discussion after this. So, 
so please look for me and we will have a chat. So thank you all so much. Um, I wish you the best as you begin this journey. Uh, we, our doors are always open for any kind of professional interaction. Do not hesitate to reach out if there is need for you to do that. And with those not so few remarks, I will ask the Honorable the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya to come forward and address us. Honorable Chief Justice, please. Thank you very much, the Honorable Chief Registrar of the Judiciary. Please be seated. Um, thank you. Um, wow. <laughs> yes, on a day like today, I get emotional uh, because my memories take me to uh, 1987, I think it's that uh, six years ago when I sat where you are, uh, looking hopeful, looking expectant, and also having butterflies in my stomach, and listening to wonderful speech, which those days were brief. It was only the CJ, the, uh, the president of the Law Society, who was then uh, Dr. Friend or Giambo, and then as a photograph, and then we would go home. And that was a journey. So today I'm most privileged to welcome all of you to the judiciary and recognize our very special guests who are here with us today and to adopt all those protocols that have been established and adopt them and say you're most welcome and we are so, so proud and so honored to have all of you. I see uh, the president of the senior bar, Dr. Friend Ojiambo, you are still here, that uh, six years ago you looked the same, you might. <laughs> have a conversation with him to tell you how he has looked after himself and remained youthful. Mm -hmm.